Komatsu Tier 4 Operator Guidance Video. This video is not meant to replace the operator's manual as a source of technical operational information. It is always the operator's responsibility to read and comprehend the operator's manual furnished with the machine. Welcome to Komatsu's Tier 4 Operator Guidance Video. This video is going to give you, the operator, insight about what you need to do while operating Komatsu equipment with Tier 4 interim machines equipped with KDPF, specifically related to regeneration. Inside the cab of every Komatsu Tier 4 machine that has a Komatsu diesel particulate filter, there is a laminated card that highlights the KDPF regeneration operator tips. This help sheet provides detailed information regarding regeneration as well as the operator interface with Tier 4 interim products. Additional information is also available in the Operations and Maintenance Manual. One of the key technologies that Komatsu uses to meet Tier 4 interim emissions is the Komatsu Diesel Particulate Filter, or KDPF. The KDPF is a component that is designed to collect and systematically remove particulate matter, otherwise known as soot, by converting it into harmless materials that are friendly to our environment. The image you see here is what the KDPF looks like on the PC240LC-10. Regardless of the position on the machine or the model, the KDPF technology and operation is exactly the same, so you can transition from one product to another without any difficulty. All Komatsu products that use a KDPF also have a large 7-inch LCD color monitor panel in the operator's cab. The primary difference between each product's monitor panel is the color of the screen. Tracked products have a blue screen, and wheeled products have a black screen. The operation and navigation in every monitor is virtually the same. Located in the user menu is the KDPF regeneration screen. This screen allows you to monitor the soot level in the KDPF, initiate a manual stationary regeneration, or disable regeneration. Before we talk about the different types of regeneration, located in the top right-hand corner of the screen is the soot level indicator. This indicator identifies how much soot has accumulated in the KDPF. Zero bars means there is no soot, while eight bars means that the KDPF is completely saturated. You should never allow the soot level in the KDPF to reach eight bars in the soot level indicator. There are three types of regeneration for Komatsu's Tier 4 interim engines. These include passive, active, and manual stationary regeneration. The first and most common type of regeneration for Komatsu equipment is passive. Passive regeneration is not noticeable to the operator and occurs during normal operation. Passive regeneration is a naturally occurring process that uses the normal heat in the exhaust to chemically remove soot that accumulates in the KDPF. Since it is naturally occurring, no action is needed by the operator and no icons will be displayed on the monitor panel. Komatsu equipment, on average, passively regenerates over 90% of the time. The harder you work the machine, the more passive regeneration will be able to keep the KDPF clean. Active regeneration is an automatic process that also removes soot that is built up in the KDPF. This process begins in one of two ways. One, when the soot level indicator reaches three green bars as shown on the monitor panel. Or two, it is initiated on a time-based interval which ranges between 48 and 96 hours, depending on engine size. When active regeneration takes place, a small amount of diesel fuel is sprayed into the exhaust stream, which removes soot more aggressively in the KDPF than a passive regeneration. During active regeneration, an icon is displayed on the monitor to notify the operator, but the machine can continue to work without any loss in performance or productivity. The important thing to remember is that this process occurs automatically and no action is required by the operator. Remember, on average, Komatsu products passively regenerate over 90% of the time, so active regeneration will usually take place less frequently than passive regeneration. If the operator finds it necessary to shut down the machine while active regeneration is taking place, the machine should be moved to a safe and accessible location 
Disable the active regeneration in the monitor and allow the machine to idle for five minutes before shutting down. When the machine goes back into operation, the active regeneration will pick up where it left off prior to being shut down. The last type of regeneration is manual stationary regeneration. If passive and active regeneration are not executed and the soot accumulation is higher than the limit, which is indicated by three green bars and one yellow bar in the soot level indicator, the machine will request a manual stationary regeneration. At this time, the monitor panel will display an L01 action level code, which means that overall machine functionality is not affected. But when the current work is completed, the operator should move the machine to a safe and accessible location, idle down, and engage all lock levers and set all parking brakes. Next, in the KDPF regeneration screen on the monitor panel, select Manual Stationary Regeneration and press the check mark. Manual Stationary Regeneration has now been started. The machine must remain stationary and idle down for the duration of the stationary regeneration process. If during manual stationary regeneration, the operator finds it necessary to shut down the machine, first disable the manual stationary regeneration in the monitor panel and allow the machine to idle for five minutes before shutting down. When the machine goes back into operation, an active regeneration will start. If the first request for a manual stationary regeneration is ignored, soot may continue to accumulate in the KDPF. If the soot level reaches three green bars and three yellow bars, an L03 action level code will be displayed on the monitor panel. If an L03 action code is displayed, the operator should stop the current work, move the machine to a safe and accessible location, idle down, engage all lock levers and set all parking brakes, and perform a manual stationary regeneration. In the event that further requests for manual stationary regeneration are ignored and the soot level reaches eight bars, the machine will display an L04 action level code. In this situation, it is no longer possible to perform a manual stationary regeneration. The machine should be stopped and you should contact your local Komatsu distributor for assistance. If operating in an area where flammable materials are present, such as wood chips, dry leaves, or waste paper, it is possible to disable active regeneration. First, access the KDPF regeneration screen in the monitor. Next, select Regeneration Disable and press the check mark. This will disable the active regeneration process and the Regeneration Disable icon will appear on the monitor panel. If at any time the machine is shut down, the system will default back to its original settings and enable active regeneration. In applications that require the machine to idle for long periods of time, it is important for the operator to remember to engage the lock levers or parking brake. Komatsu's Tier 4 interim engines feature a warm-up function, which allows the machine to automatically increase engine RPM when sitting at idle. This increase in engine RPM initiates a passive regeneration event, allowing the KDPF to clean itself while it is idling. After the warm-up function has completed, engine RPM will return to normal. Komatsu's Tier 4 interim solution is simple, reliable, and effective. The Komatsu diesel particulate filter is designed to use normal exhaust temperature to remove soot the majority of the time while the active regeneration process occurs automatically with no impact to performance. Remember, the harder you work the machine, the more effective Komatsu Tier 4 technology performs.